Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a brand new video. So today I bring you a full face of drugstore makeup summer edition. We are doing bomb skin. We are doing a pretty blush. We're doing soft highlighter. We're focusing a little bit on the eyes where they're a little like soft glam, but with a pop of color. If you have been wanting to try a little bit of color in your makeup routine, this is going to be the perfect tutorial for you guys. And of course, the best thing is that everything is affordable so you already know grab your cafecito grab your brushes and let's jump right into today's full face of a drugstore makeup I'm gonna start with my concealer as my eyeshadow base I'm going for a very soft glam like very soft matte skin with a pop of color on the eyes I don't want anything too crazy just very soft very like ethereal like you're walking into a sunset something like that okay so I, I applied a little bit of my concealer this is the l'oreal infallible it is such a great product if you're looking for a full full coverage concealer honestly i think i need to throw this one away and buy a new one because i've had this one for a few years and it's still going but i think it's a little bit dried out which works out as an eyeshadow base because it doesn't crease so i'm gonna use it I'm going to let that dry down just a tad bit. Meanwhile, I wanted to share with you guys some new dossier scents that I just got in the mail and I could not wait to share them with you. This is new Oud and Rose on Fire. So the scent family in this is Ambery and Floral. The top notes are Pink Pepper, Pear, and Vegan Honey. I'm going to do a little spritz. Oof. That is definitely very strong. Not for me. Let's open the other one. This one is Orchid and Sandalwood at Dusk. The scent family is Woody and Floral. The top notes are Cardamom, Cardamom, Incense, and Clove. I don't think I'm going to like this one either. I do not like the scent of Incense. Incense. Ooh, okay. I can get behind this one. Mm, okay. I definitely like this one. It's a little more sensual. It does have that woody and floral scent. I feel like this is a scent that I can definitely use it during the summer as well. Okay, okay, not bad. Those were interesting, okay? If you guys wanna shop for Dossier, don't forget, it's always in my bio. I am an affiliate with them, so just click the link, shop for some products because Father's Day is coming up. So let's get back into the makeup. You guys seem to really enjoy the last video where I used my Jaclyn Hill palette. So I pulled it out again, but this one I pulled out the volume two, which is also my favorite, but number or the first palette is always going to be my favorite, favorite palettes. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by applying a wash of bronzer on my lids. I really want to create a little bit of warmth to make the orange a little bit more comfortable. And for that, I'm going to go in with the NYX Buttermelt Bronzer in the shade Butter Off. This one is so beautiful. It's nice and rich and creamy and honestly very pigmented. So I'm going to dust it off on my legs because I'm wearing shorts. And I'm going to bring that into the crease. This is just going to add a little bit of warmth. And it's going to just really blend really nicely once we lay that orange down. Y'all, I am so close to finishing Pretty Little Liars. I'm honestly kind of like over that show now. <laughs> they have been dragging it on for so long, but I'm on season seven or eight. And as soon as I finish it, I am going to start on Bridgerton. Is that how you say it? I feel like it sounds weird when I say it. But I'm going to start on that show because so many people have been messaging me after I posted that video. And they're like, you got to watch Bridgerton, 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 whatever it's called. So it's definitely on my to-do list, you guys. I'm going to watch it. Also, oh my gosh, it ends with us. The official movie is coming out in August. Ah, I'm so excited. If you haven't read that book by Colleen Hoover, you've been living under a rock. Order it on Amazon today. Read it. I think I finished mine within like a week or something because I just could not put it down. That book is so good. So good, okay? I am not a Chiyona, but that book had me weeping. I was crying, you guys. It is so good. She does such a great job at just like bringing you in as... A writer and you are part of the characters I don't know how to describe it but she did her thing 
Miss Colleen Hoover did her thing, okay? And I have a date for August. I'm gonna go with my friend and we're gonna go watch the movie. I'm gonna take a little bit of home body just because it's right next to that orange, so it's in the same color family. And I'm gonna take that on to my crease. Actually, I'm gonna take a smaller little brush. I'm gonna take that into the crease. Again, just kind of like preparing that orange so it lays down really nicely. And this is gonna be nice and soft. It's not gonna be too bam in your face if you don't like super colorful looks. But you want to add or incorporate a little bit of razzle dazzle <laughs> in your summer routine. Okay, forget that brush. I had to switch to this one. I needed something a little, with a little more fluff if you will. So this one is the Ariel brush. These are like the only, not the only ones, but these are my absolutely go-to brushes. But if you guys want something a little bit more affordable, I think I have them on my Amazon storefronts, which is linked down below. Uh, the brand, oh my gosh, I'm having a brain fart, but there is a brand that pretty much duped these brushes and they are amazing quality. I'm gonna use a flat little brush like this. This one is from Jessup and I'm gonna go in with a shade Feeling Myself because this one matches my shirt pretty much perfectly and I am just gonna lay that down all over the lid as you can see these are really pigmented on their own you don't have to apply as much but it'll come off the less or the more that you apply and I'm gonna start off at my waterline and then grabbing a little bit more and then just blending it upwards and as you can see because we laid down those colors previously it's just like really blending super super easy we don't even have to try you don't have to go back and apply much all i'm going to do is i'm going to go back with my brush no additional products and i'm going to blend the edges where the orange meets and the brown shades that we laid down i'm going to add a little bit of eyeliner this is a cream gel eyeliner from color pop in the shade brouhaha I use this all the time when I want a really dark espresso-like shade. And then I'm actually going to use a little bit of this Catrice Coral Crush palette. And I'm going to take the shade uh, Reef, which is a really dark brown. So any dark brown, just to smudge that out. So it's just a little smoky, not so intense. And then I'm going to finish off my eyes with a little bit of mascara. This is my favorite drugstore mascara. I am literally out from the She Glam brand this side specifically y'all anytime i curl my lashes i don't have them curled right now but anytime i curl my lashes y me pongo esta mascara like my lashes will stay curled all freaking day i don't know what they put in this but i definitely need to restock because it is that good for my foundation i am going with the best of the best maybelline superstay it is amazing technically this is a skin tint but it offers offers such great coverage actually let me shake this because i have not used this specific shade in a very long time this is in the shade 312 but i went to the pool this weekend and i got tan okay so we are gonna use this and apply this all over the skin and even then actually it might be a good match I'm gonna use a little kabuki brush and I'm gonna blend this in first and then I'm gonna go in with a sponge. If you guys are here in Texas, go to Lagoon Fest. It's a little past in Houston. We went and it was okay. I mean, it's a fun experience, but it's not all that. I'm gonna go back with my same concealer and apply that on underneath the eyes. This is in the shade Cashew, I believe. Yep, Cashew 365. Again, this is a great one for uh, dark circles because it really does cover up a lot. I'm gonna take some to my nose. Yes, I'm gonna the hat. And I'm gonna go in with my favorite sponge at the moment, which is this one from e.l.f. It is so good, y'all. Like, I think this is gonna be my forever sponge. Okay, maybe not forever because knowing me, I will get over it in like a few months. But <laughs> for now, I'm just gonna use it because... I really, 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 really like it. Like, look at how easily I get underneath the eyes and, like, around it. And it just blends so nicely. So, we're going to tap that in. Honestly, I think I applied too much. I'm going to do a little bit of cream bronzer and cream blush and cream highlight using this Catrice Magic palette. This one is really, really good. I love that it has three different shades. So I'm going to go in with this one and this one, just mixing them both. And I'm going to take that to the cheeks. As you can see, it's really nice and pigmented. 
and it allows you to blend it really nice and easy, which is my favorite part. So I'm just going to take that on to my little cachetitos. I'm going to use this little brush from It Cosmetics to help me blend. Just tapping it into the cheeks, blending it out. Going back to the whole Lagoon Fest, again, if you guys are in the Houston area, um, if you haven't gone, please go and like tell me your experience later on because I just, I don't know. First of all, okay. So the tickets, I felt like were a little bit overpriced, okay? It's about almost $40 per person, per adult. Kids three and under are free and then uh kids you know three and up you have to pay regular price which okay that's fair enough so we bought the tickets online and we didn't know well we did know we found out thankfully later on throughout the day that you're not allowed to take any food whatsoever so no cooler no water um, no drinks, no juices, nothing. Not even toys, y'all. Like, we took some water toys and they told us that we couldn't take them inside. I was like, okay, that's a little odd, but whatever. So we went in and it's nice. Don't get me wrong. I really like the place. It's really pretty. But they have a limit on where you can swim. So they have it, like, sectioned off. And literally, it's maybe less than three feet or close to three feet of water that you can actually swim in. I'm gonna go in with that coral blush now. But yeah, you can't swim deeper than that because they have like the rest of the pool. It's pretty much a pool. They call it a lagoon, but it's pretty much a humongous pool. The rest of the area, it's sectioned off because they do have kayaking, they have paddle boarding, which me and Lonnie did, we paddle boarded. And then they also offer um, they have like a little course for like kids where you can jump off and do all these things. It's definitely fun. My kids had fun, okay? So if you're going to go with your kids, they're going to have a blast. Lincoln, oh my gosh, he did not leave the water for a minute. He loved it. They do a pretty good job at like keeping it clean. Every few hours, they tell everybody to get out and you get out, they clean it and it's kept up with my only issue again i'm going to use that highlighter is that they didn't allow food the food in there because they have a bunch of like little places they have little bars you can drink you can have a good time um it was so overpriced and it wasn't bad like it really wasn't all that bad but the fact that they do not allow any food it's like y'all are already making tons of money off of the tickets but on top of that, you have to buy all your food there, all your drinks, all your water, which the water was so overpriced. Another thing I didn't like is we did stay closer to the entrance and they didn't have bathrooms. Like, I mean, they did have bathrooms, but the bathrooms were to the very back. And when we went on Sunday for like Memorial Day weekend, it was hot, y'all. Okay, it was so hot. So to walk all the way down there every single time, I was like, absolutely not. They should have at least two restrooms for the amount of people that were in there. They should have, you know, restrooms on one side and then restrooms on the other side. Better not. I'm going to bake my under eyes and I'm going to use this one by Beauty Creations. It's called By Filter Translucent, uh, Translucent Dream Loose Setting Powder. We actually went to the Pulga a few months ago or a while ago and I totally forgot about this product. If you don't know what a pulga is, it's pretty much a flea market. And I found a little place where they sold makeup. Of course, immediately I was like, ah. <laughs> this is my little heaven. And they had a bunch of beauty creation products. And I have never tried their powder. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to try it out. So let's see if this is a good powder or not. Immediately. No, I don't like this. Uh, this is going to ruin my makeup. Oh well, I have to do it to the other eye now. This powder is very heavy. And when they're very heavy, they will usually like crack underneath just because of how thick it is. Okay, moment of truth. I'm gonna go in with my brush and I'm gonna push that powder in. Oh, this is so thick. Like, okay, it didn't crack or pill or anything and it didn't mess up my foundation. But as you can see, one extremely brightening underneath the eyes, which I don't mind. I do like a bright under eye, 
but I did not like how drying it is. Oh my goodness, that sucked the life out of my eyes. I'm gonna add a little bit more bronzer using that same powder or that same bronzer that we use for the eyes. And I'm gonna use my favorite brush from Real Techniques 400, I believe it's the number. It's a blush brush, but I use it for bronzer because it's so fluffy. And we're just gonna bronze up the skin a little bit more, bringing it to the jawline. NYX has been killing it with the face products, okay? This is their new NYX. This is a new Butter Melts blush in the shade Had Butter or Vivid Orange. Something like that. I don't know. But it's this one. It is stunning. So pretty, you guys. It reminds me so much of the uh, Dior blush. It's like a peachy one. I will, I will put it somewhere here if I can find a picture of it but so similar except this one actually has pigment. The Dior ones are very like natural. I mean, some people like that. I like a lot of blush. So for me, this is it. These two products, if you haven't tried them, please go to Ulta today and pick some up. I'm gonna go for a very soft highlighter. So I'm gonna use the Essence Pure Nude. You guys already know. This is like my go-to highlighter when I want it to be very, very natural. You're not really gonna see this, but your skin is still going to look dewy and glowy and like almost like wet, very natural. Duh. As you can see, like you can still see it, right? But it's not as intense and it's very um, texture skin friendly or even mature skin friendly. Just apply that everywhere. And then I'm going to top it off with a little bit of a gloss. This is the, this is Milky Gloss in Milk and Honey. And I'm just going to take that to the center right here. Just to add fullness to the lips instead of applying it everywhere. Just literally taking it to the center. Just right here. And this is going to make your lips look a little pouty. I'm gonna dab it right there. That is the perfect nude color. I love this. It's my absolute go-to. To finish off the look, of course, we get a set. This is the best drugstore setting spray. I had a brain fart. Mm. Jushed my hair a little bit, fixed it, gave it a little, a little something, something to look a little cuter. And this is the final look. So this is a full face of drugstore makeup, summer edition. All these products are bomb except for the powder that completely messed up my under eyes. That's what I get for trying out new products. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. It just, it's not for me. It's a little too thick and yeah, it's just, it's not cute, okay? Other than that, all of these products are amazing, affordable, perfect for the summer. The foundation is so light on the skin, you're hardly going to feel it. And it also has vitamin C, which is going to be amazing for your skin. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's full face of a drugstore makeup. My skin looks so bomb. The eyes are so simple, but so pretty at the same time. So thank you so much for being here. I love you guys. Stay safe. And until next time, I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.